Hello everybody, it's Carrie, your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I am popping on this Tiny Tip Tuesday because um, when I created this slimline card the other day, I very quickly taught you guys how to stamp this image backward. Uh, this one, is that the one? Yep, this one right here so that he was going the other way. Instead of jumping away, I wanted him to follow um, the other sheep, and this stamp didn't do that. So, um, but I went through it rather fast, and so someone asked me if I would please show again the correct way to do that, and then how to line up the die, because obviously the die doesn't go, it, it doesn't go this way that's backwards. It would actually cut out an image that way. Let me show you. Here's a backwards Im image I stamped. There's no way to to make that cut. So I'm going to show you that. The other thing I want to show you is how I got the backward image. So this these images are all on our awesome white felt paper um, and so it's it's a little um it's fuzzy right it's fuzzy so i'm going to show you how it looks stamped on um regular paper going going backwards so let me show you the technique for going backwards you are going to start by inking up your image in this case i am using memento um, tuxedo black I'm stamping onto a silicone craft sheet and I'm pressing really good because I want it to be very inky. So you guys can see that's very inky. I'm placing a regular block underneath it and then I'm wrapping it around the block, kind of recreating a rubber stamp. And then I have my foam mat underneath just to give it a little more oomph. And then there you have it. Now it's a little messy. I admit that it's it, it it can be. It isn't always, but it can be. So let me show you what that looks like on the um, felt. So I'm gonna wipe this off really quickly, and I'm just gonna repeat that process and show you on the um, velvet. Again, stamping it onto the silicone sheet, putting a block underneath where the image is, and then wrapping the silicone image tightly. Then here is some of that awesome felt. And let me see if I can, it's a little harder to see through your um, silicone mat. So I'm pressing a little bit harder now because, like I said, this is the um, velvet. And you're going to see it is not as sharp. See how light it is? And you re may remember that I was showing you um, how I went through with a black fine tip marker. And that's how I recreated the darkness of the lamb. So I'm going to use this one to show you guys how I then created the backwards cutout. Forgot my take your pick tool, which is pretty essential. So you're going to need your take your pick tool or some form of um, a paper piercer. And then you're going to set it on upside down. If you look, I've got this upside down. The cutting is facing up. So it's upside down. The image is upside down. And then I can match it up okay so once i have it matched up i'm going to hold it pardon my head while i make sure i am where i want to be <clears throat> don't expect perfection when i don't have it right under my face <laughs> i know you guys understand that now all i'm going to do is i'm going to poke holes all around the edge of this framelit you can do more or less. I figure the more, the better. And I'm poking in pretty far um, so that I can see the edge. 
and um, and then be able to line it up. But you especially want to get to like, there's a point right here. This will make more sense when I hold it up. I apologize. I have not invested in all of the fancy camera work. I'm just a crafter like everybody else. And uh, I'm, not, I'm not a videographer and that's not where I choose to spend my income on that. Um, cause you guys can, you guys can always watch this on YouTube later when I, when I edit to YouTube right now live, it is on my Facebook page where I'm always live facebook.com forward slash memory inkers. I would love to have you share this video. Okay. So now you can see, I have a bunch of holes you can see them on the back here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the die and I'm going to flip it so that now it's the right way. And let me get this lined up and then I will hold it and um, hopefully now you guys can see how it lines up. So you just go back and you just line it up with the holes that you poked, right? Thanks, Karen. And then I have a, I put... Well, I lost. We'll use this piece right here. I always use a um, some of my awesome sticky note and hold that in place so that it does not move inside my um, mini Big Shot or my mini, sorry, my mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. They couldn't have made that a longer name. So I'm going to set that in, as you can see. And then I'm just going to roll it out. And now it has cut it backwards. Now it didn't cut it very well because I, you know, this was on video and I didn't have my face right here while I was doing it. You can see the other one, the original one cut out much better. Um, and that's, that's my excuse. It's the way it works is it's harder to do when it's over my face, but that's how that works. It's that simple. Um, it is extra work, but I think, um, it's, it's really not that difficult. So if you do not have, um, the silicone mat Stampin' Up does sell this awesome silicone mat and we sell the, um, foam piece. And of course, we sell the coolest tool on the planet is the take your pick tool. So if you have any questions about any of those and um, in case you have not seen yet this awesome stamp set and dies, they are from the, um, the, they are both celebration items, the counting sheep and then the sheep dies, which, um, except for the sheep that I don't have on there right now. The dies will cut out both, all, all three sheeps. And it does a little party hat, a little banner, some clouds, the fence, the fence that I cut out here, the uh, sun that I cut out here. So all of that, um, and they are each, so these are separate items, they are each for a $50 order during celebration, you get to get it for free. So um, if you have a hundred dollar order, you can order it right away. Or if you want to do it month to month, order the stamps this month and order the dies next month, you could do that. But please remember that celebration items are um, limited. They, you know, they could run out. So if you really want these, now would be the time. Um, also, as a reminder, I think I said this on bingo night on Thursday, I talked about how <clears throat> celebration is the time when I know I stock up on stuff, adhesives, uh, your whites and your vanilla papers, um, anything that <clears throat> I is, is really consumable, envelopes, uh, if there's like sequins or pearls or rhinestones or something that I know I use a lot of, I stock up during celebration because why not? 
if you add $50 worth of those consumables that you're going to use, you're going to get a free thing. So um, that would be my suggestion to make a list and um, look at all those things that you need. And it might make it easier for you to get the awesome um, counting sheep dies um, or sheep dies and the counting sheep stamp set or, you know, one of the many other items that's in the celebration catalog. So um, if you have any questions, you can um, comment here. You can email me at memoryinkersatt.net. My Stampin' Up! website is memoryinkers.com. Please use the hostess code that is still good for a few, uh, at least a week. Um, N as in Nancy, D as in David, F as in Frank, X as in X-ray, the number four. C as in cat, G as in George, C as in cat. Um, so I would love to have you guys um, follow me here on facebook.com forward slash memory gears. That would be awesome too. So there we have it. That is today's tiny tip Tuesday. I hope you guys liked it and I hope you will be back. I'll definitely be back for Saturday sip. Um, I may be popping in. I'm working on a project for Thursday. I will keep you posted. So have a wonderful evening. Bye.